Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a uh, top five gaming mice currently on the market roundup. Uh, as you guys have seen uh, recently on the channel, I have reviewed multiple mice. I have reviewed both the Final Mouse Starlight Pro 10s edition in the small and medium variant. And I have reviewed my G Pro X Superlight that I have for over a year. And I have reviewed the Death Hazard V3 Pro that Razer launched. I currently don't have the copy in my hand, but I have the review up on the channel, including unboxing. And I have the Viper Ultimate right here, which I did not do a review yet, but this is the old uh, version. This is the Viper Ultimate, not the Viper Ultimate V2 Pro, which is the uh, upgraded version of this mouse. But I just have it right here for our shape references. So um, if you didn't know, I just posted a video about IEMs for gaming. That's why I have my... IEMs right here on the desk. If you want to check that video out, make sure to go to my channel and check that video out. It's about uh, audio for gaming audios and my thoughts on IEM for gaming. So let's get right into this top five list. And at number one and two, I have the Final Mouse um, Starlight Tens Edition in both the small and uh, medium variant. Depends on your hand size and your grip style and your sensitivity. You can choose different variants. Me personally, I'm using the small one because I have medium to high sense uh, and I use an aggressive claw grip like this. Uh, so I really like how the mouse fit in my mouth, uh, the mouse fit in my hand because of my grip style and because of my sensitivity in game. I can control the mice uh, really well, uh, the small size. And the medium size is kind of like the same as the Viper shape. It's, it's larger, wider, it's just much bigger compared to the small. And it's for people who have larger hands who might do relaxed claw or even palm with uh, all range of sensitivities. So the medium uh, finalized Starlight, uh, Starlight Pro is good for all sensitivities with a medium to large hands who likes to relax claw or palm their mouse. And for fingertip, uh, the small is the best one. So if you fingertip or have smaller hand, the Starlight Pro 10s edition in the small variant would be the best for you. So those are the top two mice on the market currently, but I know the availability for Final Mouse sucks. They're currently sold out, so you can only get, get it on secondhand market like eBay, StockX, or if you have somebody you know that's selling the mice. So you can't just go out and buy these uh, from FinalMouse.com. So that's why it kind of sucks, the availability issue with Final Mouse, you know. But it's great quality mouse, magnesium alloy, comes in at 45 and 49 grams respectively for the small and variant, small and medium variant. Mine copy, my small one is 45 grams. And the in-hand feel is just amazing. I hit crazy snap clips, crazy flicks. I mean, it just fits like a glove in my in my hand. I, I have very well control of this mice and the in-hand feel is amazing because of the magnesium alloy. The clicks are crispy. I don't have any QC issues, no rattle. A little bit of rattle because of the DPI button, but that's gone now, so there's no more rattle. S scroll wheel is centered, scroll wheel is perfect. Every click, the main clicks, the two main clicks are so crispy. So I've test I've been using this for past, I think a month for Valorant Apex and I've been loving it so far. I don't see me myself going back to plastic mice anytime soon unless it's for a review. So that out of the way, if you can't afford it, I know it's expensive, 190 bucks. And if you're paying secondhand, you're probably gonna pay like 200 or more than $200. So I know the price and the availability sucks. So however, we do have our rest of the list if you're interested. And amongst the pros, the one who are using this mice is obviously tens and he uses, I think he uses the small variant. And I also think ASU uh, uses this mice. Let me check it out. Yeah, so ASU also uses the small one. So ASU and TENS both use this mouse and they're cracked at Valorant and Apex. So pretty good mice, I believe. They don't have 4K Hertz pulling rate though, however, but they do have motion sync with their 1K Hertz pulling rate. And yeah, those two are the, the pros or slash streamers that uses this, the final mouse and let's jump right into the second so second place we have second third and f no, no no for third fourth and fifth we have three mices currently on the market but i believe the order can change depends on what you personally like and how what your sensitivity is or what your grip is 
But for me, the third, uh, after the final mouse, small and medium, the third best mouse on the market currently is still the G Pro X Super Lite that I have right here in the white, white uh, variant. It is just built like a tank, has the best build quality, no QC issues. You can go out on the market and buy one if you want. It's $135 on sale on Amazon. It has uh, pink, white, and black colorways. And it's amongst the most popular mice used uh, amongst the pros. So it is the most popular mice used on the pros. So CS pros, Valorant pros, any first person shooter you can think of, you will know the best of the best uses this mice. And some might because of sponsoring issues, but I believe it's just a really good mice for, for what it's worth and for how much it is. It fits all kind of group styles. You can aggressive claw it, relax claw it, palm it. You just can't really fingertip it because of the hump in the back and the size. It's a, it's a fairly big mice. Its build quality is amazing. The clicks are good. No double clicking issues. The scroll wheel is good. The side buttons are good. The shape fits all hand sizes. If you have really small hands, you might you might have to like palm the mouse, but other than that, I mean, it, it just fits all genres of people with the shape. So I believe that's why it, it's the most popular mice amongst the pros. And the sensor is good. Battery life is amazing. And some of the pros that use this mice, you can, I mean, thim simple, the, the best FPS player I think ever in the history of FPS games simple I believe he uses this mice that should say enough about <laughs> the G Pro Superlight and Monesi which is a young up-and-comer I mean he's pretty he's already made it big he, he's the G2 Opera he's cracked he uses this mice bit on the Navi team uses this mice yay from Valorant uses this mice cryo cells from Valorant uses this mice uses this mouse so I mean the proof is there all the top tier pros use this mice although it doesn't have 4k Hertz pulling rate the fancy stuff that Razer have right now I mean it's reliable it's good shape it's comfortable and if you want to be if you want to pick a mouse and really dig deep in a in a first person shooter genre this is the mouse to go and now let's talk about my personal four and fifth mice on the market these positions for three, fours, and five are interchangeable. All of the mouse in the top five lists are a great cracked mouse you can pick up and just get in the game and frag out with it. So, me personally, I have the Viper uh, Razer Viper V2 Pro on the fourth spot above the Death Hatter V3 Pro. We'll talk about that later, but let's talk about the Ripe, uh, Viper V2 Pro. So it's currently on sale for one thirty four dollars, same price as the uh, Super Light. And let me tell you, this up updated version for the uh, Viper Ultimate, it is fifty eight grams lighter than the sixty one gram of the G Pro Super Light. Three grams lighter. Uh, you you'll definitely feel the weight. Three grams, you'll definitely feel it in hand. And the shape is the uh, final mouse medium shape. It's good for aggressive claw relax claw uh, not I wouldn't say fingertip unless you have really large hands and uh, you can palm it if you have medium to small hands you can comfortably palm the mouse so I would say it's good for like those grips mentioned and for all sensitivity I think all kind of sense is good on this mouse no matter you have high sense low sense medium sense you should be good it's a very safe shape I would say just like the super light but I think the super light is a little bit more safer and tailored towards uh, medium to low sense players I would say uh, high sense you can make it work too so I guess yeah it's for all sensitivities and most grip style unless fingertip and the Viper would be all sensitivities and all um, grip style besides fingertip if you have uh, small hand, small to medium hands if you have little large hands you can kind of fingertip it so and I know they have the 4k Hertz dongle you can um, purchase from Razer directly for I think 15 bucks and if you want to use the 4k Hertz pulling rate I know there's some issues with the motion sync with that with 4k Hertz but and it eats up your battery a lot uh, they say they have 80 hour battery I think the battery life of the Viper is a little bit less than the super light but it's still great I mean you you can get a week or even two weeks uh, play out of it depends on how much how often you use the mice so I would say for 
for my personal pick for number four is uh, Razer Viper Pro, a V2 Pro. And some pros that use this mice is Marved for from Optic. Um, he used this mouse to win the Valorant Championship and I think Iceland. They went. They I'm pretty sure they won Iceland. And he had he's he has been using this mouse for a while. I know he had it way before everybody before it's released. And I mean he's just probably the best uh, controller player currently in Valorant. So I would say it's a pretty good mice. And on our last place for top five. I would say it's the Razer Death Hatter V3 Pro. I mean, 64 gram ergo mice. If you wanna, if you want ergo, go with this. This is probably the best ergo mouse on the market. No, definitely the best ergo mouse out on the market. I know a lot of Valorant pros use this mice. I mean, it's just got everything. It got good sensor, even better battery life than the Viper. And if I have a review up on the channel, I have the unboxing too on the channel if you want to check that out. However, it does come in $150. It's not on sale on um, on Amazon, so you might have to pay a little bit more. And this also supports the 4K Hertz pulling rate, the Viper uh, supports, but it eats up your battery life. So you decide if you want the 4K Hertz, 4K Hertz for less battery or not. But I mean, for ergos and for medium to large hands, with you can claw it, but you can aggressive claw, but relaxed claw is kind of difficult because of the size of the mice. But palm is amazing. If you palm grip and you have medium to large hands, oh my god, this is a dream mice to get. But you can, however, claw it. I clawed this mouse personally, and it was pretty good. The texturing is good. The weight is good. But however, it does feel a little shallow in hand because it's so light and it's such a big mice. So you, it feels a little like hollow and stuff. Uh, but it's still great mice. I mean, Hyperspeed Wireless Razer Tech. I don't have to go into details. Everybody knows how good they are. And some of the pros that use this mouse. I know Trent uses this mouse. He's insane at Valorant. And I know some players from DRX also uses this mouse. Uh, forgot his name, but I'm pretty sure a lot of Valorant players use this mouse. I know Stewie has been trying out this mouse recently uh, in Valorant. He's been jumping around a lot of different mice, but I mean, any of these mice that I mentioned in the top five, if you can get your hands on one, it's a go-to. You can use it for years and really dig deep in, the, in any video, FPS genre, especially any video games. So yeah, that's the top five list. One, two, I give it to Final Mouse Starlight Pro, uh, small, medium, because personal in hand feel, just amazing. And the third, I would give it to Super Light, just because how popular it is amongst the CSGO and Valorant pros, or any, like even Apex pros. I know Imperial How uses that mice, and for four and five, I gave it to Viper V2 Pro and Death Hatter V3 Pro. Depends on your hand size. If you have larger hands, if you palm the mouse, go with the Death Hatter. If you have medium hands and you claw your mice, go with the Viper V2 Pro. So that's it for the top five list. Hope you guys enjoyed and leave a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch. I have the link on the screen uh, where I stream Valorant and Apex consistently, and. Check out other videos I have on the channel. If you have reviews, uh, check out the audio, gaming audio video I made for the IEMs. So that's it. And see you guys next time. Peace.